This is an Android app of National Digital Library of India that aims at collating educational, cultural and other resources in a single platform and providing single window access to users of different educational levels. This app is outcome of a funded project by Ministry of Human Resources and Development, Government of India and is being coordinated by Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur. This app currently provides access to around 72 lakhs of resources from several sources. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the basic functionalities of the app. The app is available at Google Play Store. Please search with National Digital Library India keywords. Before we can use this app, one needs to go through the registration process. One needs to fill up the details such as name, email ID, password, educational level, languages in which one wishes to see the search results. After accepting the terms and conditions of using NDL, one can sign up. A verification link is sent to the email ID mentioned previously. The account is activated by clicking on this link. Since I have already registered previously for using this app, I will not proceed with this process. I directly now open the app and log in myself with the email ID and password. So now we see the message as successful login. The basic functionalities of this app are search, browse and document view. Let us now view each of these functionalities one by one. The first functionality of this app is search. Now one can search for any document by typing the keyword on pressing this search icon. For example, let us search for documents based on photosynthesis. We obtain various search results based on photosynthesis. Each of the search results comprise of the title of the document, source to which this document belongs to, say the World eBook Library, and the author of the document, say Sal Koma Khan. One can refine these search results using filters. Now filters are many document facets through which the original search can be refined. Press on the filter button. Various such facets are author. So these are the authors corresponding to the documents displayed in the search results. Subject domain. The various subject domains that the documents may belong to. Education level. The search results correspond to several educational levels. Language. Search results comprise of documents in various languages such as English, Hindi, Bengali, German, etc. Learning resource type. Search results for a particular topic consist of documents in various formats such as article, book, exercise, question paper, etc. Source. The documents retrieved belong to different institutes listed in alphabetical order such as Aligarh Muslim University, CSIR, Central Board of Secondary Education, IEEE Explore Digital Library, etc. Content type. The documents may correspond to either text documents or video. Now let us refine the search results based on photosynthesis by educational level. Say class 11 to class 12. Apply. Only the search results corresponding to class 11 to 12 for photosynthesis are displayed. I click on the first search result, which is a text document from the Gujarat Secondary and Higher Secondary Education Board. Now this is the document view page which provides a summary of the document. I open this document. 
a confirmation asking whether I am interested to view or download this document press ok download open so the document is displayed now I can tag this document as photosynthesis I can also comment it as say a very informative lecture I can filter the search results by learning resource type 2 suppose I wish to view the question papers related to photosynthesis now we see all the search results of the form question papers based on photosynthesis we open one such question paper there is another way to access documents from repository that's by using browse option browsing can be performed in four modes browse by type by source by subject by learning resource type so we click on by type is browse by type we can browse the search results by text audio video image animation simulation let me click on video I can filter the search results by education level for example I wish to view videos for class 5 to class 8 apply we see that the search results comprise of only class 5 to class 8 and these are only videos so I open a Khan Academy video we have three different edition problems right over here what I want you to do so that you get the hang of things is to let us browse the search results by source now 100 plus sources have already been integrated this browser option helps the user to retrieve resources from a specified source these are the featured sources joint admission board of IITs graduate aptitude test in engineering spoken tutorial out of an entire list of sources all sources now suppose I wish to access documents from IEEE explore digital library I click on this icon I get the desired results now suppose I wish to browse the search results by subject the subject domains are organized in three levels for example science physics and optics the first level is a broad domain for example natural science and mathematics the second level subject narrows the broad domain of search to say physics the third subject level narrows the second domain to an, a specified topic say magnetism so we get all the search results based on magnetism let us browse the search results by learning resource type now these are the featured learning resource type list for quick access and this is the entire list of learning resource type so let us select exercises so what we get are the search results which contain exercises search results lead to a document one of them is structure of atom and we can see that this is contain of all exercises apart from the basic functionalities the first screen of the app provides quick access to the resources through different featured modes for example resources from different subject domains such as technology social sciences history and geography religion etc can be accessed directly resources from the social sciences domain can be accessed by tapping the social sciences block with one tap we obtain search results from social sciences domain 
important learning resource types such as book, question paper, video lecture, etc. They can be browsed by tapping the featured learning resource type. For example, book block. We get a quick access to the resources corresponding to a specified learning resource type such as book. Resources from featured sources such as GATE, and Spoken Tutorial, NCRT, etc. can be browsed in a similar way. NDL app has support for multilingual interface. Currently, the app can be accessed in three different languages, English, Hindi, Bengali. English being the default language. One can change the interface language between any of these three. For example, now I am changing the interface language to Hindi. The elements in the user interface has been changed to Hindi. Suppose we wish to browse the search results by subject Vishayanusar. We can see that the subject categories are rendered in Hindi. Similarly, one can change the interface language to Bengali. Suppose we wish to again browse the search results by subject. We can see that the subject categories are rendered in Bengali. In summary, this is a very useful app that brings educational materials from different domains and for different user categories in a form of digital library. The web version of National Digital Library of India can be reached via https colon slash slash ndl.iitkgp.ac.in.